Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started a State Foundation Advanced Tutorial Series. In our previous video, I have shown you about uh, single footing analysis and design, and also we have started a combined footing analysis and design. So it is its third part, so and the finishing part. So if you are new here, you can watch our previous video. The link are given in description. So first of all, I will open our state foundation this is the connect edition and if you need this that software you can watch the video or download link are given in description so first of all I will open our previous model here is a previous model okay it's taking some time so here is a model and First of all, I will go for design or analysis as we have completed everything that are required. So, here we'll go for design and analysis. Maybe they have some problem. I'll check that. Uh, here it's showing calculation sheet is not available as design has failed because uh, our design have failed because uh, our provided parameters are not okay for our that footing so here it's showing the error unable to determine a suitable width for the given loading less width tried 10 feet 33 in sorry 10.33 and our la last length right 16.167 feet so again we have to change our footing geometry so we'll increase from here and uh, we'll give here our maximum length will give 40 feet and our minimum width will give 20 feet then again we'll try okay so again this time see it's available because our required length was not given that's why okay because it's showing the width is 14 length or 18 feet with a 14 feet thickness at 2.167 feet okay so that is our cross-sectional view this is the height of ground level this is 2.167 feet thickness and here one thing you have to understand left overhanging left overhanging 4.833 4.833 here 4.833 this is the 4.833 okay so this is the left overhang I mean from where what is the distance from here this is the line if you see that from center point of the column to its of the foundation also here 3.75 if we go here right overhanging 3.75 so if we go here 3.75 center point of the column to its of the foundation ok we will change that uh, service will to check here is the data sheet here is the reinforcement based on spacing reinforcement increment provided reinforcement is number 6 bar 9 is center to center distance 
okay so here is our wall data sheet now if we go here detail detail and schedule drawing so here is our detail drawing what is the detail drawing it's showing the reinforcement for our detail drawing so if you see here it's showing bottom bottom 33 number 6 33 bar and top 25 6 bar number 6 bar 25 bar required and for our bottom in that direction I mean according to width it's 19 bar number 6 19 bar and uh, number 6 19 bar for top okay so this is for our drawing detailing and if we see your schedule so here is our schedule you can take care of everything that is the a x a s t x top and a s t z x represent the upper bar and z represent the down bar if we see here here z represent the down bar and x represent the upper bar okay similarly here x represent the upper bar uh, down bar in bottom and z represent the top bar okay so from here you can save it save drawing as autocad so you can save it you can give a name you can save anywhere according to requirement so save it and then you can open it on autocad okay so now again I will go this is geometry now I will go for our footing geometry I will change our footing geometry then we will see what happened so here we will give minimum minimum length minimum left overhanging length what will be the minimum sorry we can give here fixed left overhanging press yes and also press yes so we'll give her minimum left overhanging that will be minimum suppose it will be 1.5 the minimum left overhanging sorry um, minimum right overhanging length it will be 1.5 1.5 and if we'll give her fixed left overhanging yes and fixed right overhanging yes then again we'll go for analysis now if you see that left overhanging 1.5 right overhanging 1.5 so if we see in our foundation you can see that here or at left side it's 1.5 and in our right side it's also 1.5 okay and this is our column dimension so our total foundation length loss 10 feet sorry 13 feet and our center center to center distance of our column was 10 feet here like that we can change that and uh, suppose if we need to change uh, 
here it's showing 1.5 feet so we can also change that suppose and if we give a no then if we again go for analysis it's also taken 3.5 and 2.5 okay 3.5 and 2.5 15.75 total distance 15 point 15.75 like that and this is the for column eccentricity how will be the change if we give her one feet okay for column one this for first column and if we go for design So if we go here, you can see that our column have moved, this our first column have moved in down direction for on fit. Okay. So if I give her minus for first column and if we go for again design. So if we go down, you're seeing that our first column have been moved up so like that way you can do any change or anything that required for you and for your work purpose so if we go for schedule so here is a schedule this is a schedule for our our cover is 0 0.25 this is the schedule and this is for detailed drawing okay this for pedestrian here is for pedestrian and if we move to three number tar tie and here three tie at the top seven inch okay three tie at the top seven inch and here is our main reinforcement here is 16 main reinforcement number 5 bar and this for second you can check it according to requirement so I think in this way we can in this way we can uh, design our combined foundation and uh, if you have any problem on that you can contact to me without any problem the link or uh, the mail are given in description and also press the like button and leave a comment that it was helpful for you so that I can understand that is really helpful for you and uh, your own like and comment will inspire me for the next work so Thank you, thank you very much. As well, stay connected till next video. In our next video, I will show you about that how we'll design our pile cap for a pile foundation. So, as well, stay connected till next video.